Good evening students. Today we are going to learn Maths 5th Standard Term 3 Lesson Money. So in this today we are going to learn division. So let us go into the lesson. So first exercise 5.2 in that second sum rupees 225 paise divided by 25. So division is nothing but sharing it equally so we are going to share 200 rupees equally for 25 persons huh? let us see for this you should know uh, the 25th table so if you write it here it will be useful for you so first uh, write 25 here and this is 200 now let us write the table here 25 into 1 is 25 25 into 2 is 50 25 into 3 is 75 25 into 4 is how much 100 25 into 5 is 125 125 25 into 6 is 150 and 25 into 7 is 175 25 into 8 is 200 25 into 9 is 225 and 25 into 10 is 250 so now we know the table we have to add 25 25 to this now let us take the first digit so the digit is 2 is less than 25 so when we take 20 it is also less than 25 so we are going to take 200 so where does 200 come here it is here so 25 into what number does we get 200 when we multiply 25 by 8 we get 200 so we have we have to write 8 here 25 into 8 is 200 so write the 200 down now we have to subtract it so when we subtract 200 minus 200 it is 0 so now we are going to take the next number so how will you do before that there is a point here so put the point here and take the number so we cannot divide 2 in 25 so if we can't divide we have to put a 0 here is it clear children when you can't divide a number put a 2 here when you can't divide the number you have to put a 0 here now we are going to take the next number 25 yes now we can divide how many times the 25 goes in 25 table it is one time so we are going to write one here one into 25 is 25 when we subtract we get zero and therefore the answer is rupees eight one five let us take an, another sum from second one so second one answer the following here the fourth one rupees 324.52 divided by 28 so how will we divide it so we have to write 25 28 here and this number so what table it is so it is 28 table so 28 into 1 <coughs> is 28 next 28 into 2 is 8 to the 16 
and here 1, 2, 2, so 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. So this is how we can write the tables. Next 28 into 3 is 8, 3, sir, 24, and in here 2, 3, sir, 6, 6 plus 2, 8. Next 28 into 4, 8, 4, sir, 32, 3 here, 8, 2, so 2, 4, sir, 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, and next 8 into 5, it is 40, 2, 5, sir, 10, plus 4 is 140. So first let us uh, divide with this, or you can just write the tables. If you want, you can write uh, tables up to 10. So now first let us take 3. 3 is the smaller number. We cannot divide. So we are going to take 32. 32 is greater than 28. So where does 32 come here? We cannot take 56. So we can take 28. So how many times does 28 comes here? It is 1. So we are going to write 1 here. 1, 28 into 1 is 28. Now we have to subtract. We have 2 here. So we have to ask a help. So it becomes 12 and this becomes 2. So 12. 8 subtracted in 12 we get 4 and 2 minus 2 is 0. So now we are going to take the next, next number 44. So how many times does 44 go? For 2 times it is 56. Again we are going to take one time again 40 sorry again 28 28 now again when we subtract this it becomes 3 now it is 6 3 minus 2 is 1 the next number before taking we have a point here so we have to put a point here and take the next number so it is 165 so we we have written up to 140 so next is to 28 into 6 it is uh, 2 for 8 and then 2 6 uh, 12 12 plus 4 is okay. so it is 165 here we are having 168 so let us take this number 140 how many times does it go five times so it is 140 we subtract we get 5 and this is 2 so what is the next number here we are going to take 2 so how many times it goes so we have to write again 8 6 and 5 2 7 sir 14 14 plus 5 is 9 next 28 into 8 it is 8 8 sir 64 6 here 16 it is 2 to 4 next 28 into 9 it is 2 and 7 here so 2 9 sir 18 18 plus uh, 7 is 25 and 2 10 sir Sorry, 28 in pencil to 8. So, how many times does it go? 252, 9 times. So, write 9 here. 28 into 9 is 252. That is the answer. So, the answer is rupees 11.59. Rupees 11 and 59 by 6. And here we have rupees eight and one pies so this is how we should divide the numbers is it clear or let me do another sum for you let me do the fifth one rupees seven seven thousand nine hundred and eighty divided by eight So now we should write the 8 table here, 8 1 so 8, 
a two sir sixteen a three sir twenty four eight four sir thirty two eight five sir Forty and eight six forty eight eight seven sir fifty six eight eight sir sixty four eight nine sir seventy two eight ten sir eight so now let us divide so seven when you take the first digit. It is seven. It is less than eight. So we are going to take the two digit here. It is seventy nine. Where does seventy nine come? So if you take this one, it is eighty. So we should take seventy two. We have to take seventy two. So now eight nine sir seventy two. So eight nine sir seventy two. When you divide this. Sorry, when you minus a practice, nine minus two is seven. So, going to take the next number, seventy-eight. Again, seventy-eight. You cannot take this. And now again, seventy-two. So eight nine sir, seventy-two again, seventy-two. When you divide this, you get sixty here. Now. Yeah, the next number we have sixty. So we uh, have to take. If we take sixty-four, it is written. So we have to take fifty-six. So how many times? Seven times. So write it there. Eight seven sir fifty-six. Now we need to subtract it. We need to ask help. It becomes five, and this becomes ten, and it is four. So we have four here. We don't have any number to write, so if you don't have a number, you can keep a decimal point there. After putting the decimal point there, you can just add a zero here. So it is clear, children. You should know this. When there is no number, you can put a decimal point and add a zero here. So now we have forty. So how many times does forty go in eight table? It goes. Five times, so forty is five times. So eight five is a forty. Now it is zero. So therefore the answer is rupees nine hundred and ninety seven point five zero. That is fifty rupees. Is it clear, children? Are you able to understand? So one more sum. So sixth one this rupees three hundred and ninety seven point one zero divided by eleven. So in eleven table, we have to write the eleven table here. Eleven one sir eleven, eleven two sir twenty two. Eleven table is really easy. To write, so it is thirty-three. Eleven into four is forty-four. Eleven into five is fifty-five. Eleven into six is sixty-six. Eleven into seven is seventy-seven. Eleven into eight is eighty-eight. Eleven into nine is ninety-nine. Eleven into ten is hundred and ten. So let us divide. When you take the first number, it is less than eleven, so we are going to take thirty-nine. So where does thirty-nine come? Eleven to three, sir. Thirty-three. If you take this, it is forty-four. But this is thirty-nine, so we have to take thirty-three. So eleven three, sir. Thirty-three. We subtract this, we get six here. So put the next number. Now sixty-seven. So which number should we take? Seventy-seven or sixty-six? We have to take sixty-six. We have to see the number. If it is the same number, you can write. Otherwise, you have to write the number less than this. You should not write the number greater than. You have to write the number less than this. Then only you can subtract. So now it is six times eleven six sixty-six. Now it is one. 
so we are going to take the next number so we have a decimal point here put the point here and then only can take the next number so now it is 11 we have 11 here so it is one time so 11 ones are 11 it is 0 but we have another number here 0 so you should write a 0 here and put a 0 here also okay when there is a 0 here you have to put the 0 and again multiply with 0 11 0 sir anything multiplied by 0 is 0 11 into 0 is 0 and 0 divided by 0 so the answer is rupees 36 10 paisa so is it clear children so practice this division with more numbers thank you